Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Sport on YouTube and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be appreciating mm -hmm. this team right here on Jamie's chest. No, it's not behind you. It's yes. on your chest right there. It is of course TNS, not too yeah. far away from here in Wrexham and uh, they're going to be playing in a big European game this coming Thursday against Ligon Red Imps. I think I've pronounced that correctly. Yeah, yeah. Lincoln Red Imps of yeah. uh, Gibraltar. Yeah. Gibraltar team. Of course, they won the Gibraltar mm -hmm. League last season, hence why they're in this stage of the qualifying of the Europa League alongside fellow champions of the Welsh Premier League, TNS. And it's going to be, should be, should be quite an entertaining game. The first leg taking place on the 26th of July and then the second leg is taking place on which day? The 2nd yes. of August, there you go, easy to remember. Second leg is on the 2nd, there you go. Um, so, big big game for TNS. Um, this, isn't it the first time they've reached this stage of European competition for how long has it been? It must have been a couple of years, because I don't think I remember them really going Well, it's, it's been a long year. It's been a long year, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, um, basically they were, um, they've been playing in the Champions League. Um, they not got knocked out the first round playing Shikinja from Macedonia. Uh, they lost 5-0 in the home leg. Uh, um, I think Skopje, they played that because Shikinja's ground's not big enough for yeah. UEFA standards. Uh, and then they almost did the impossible. They almost did the, uh, They almost overturned a 5-0 loss, but sadly came one goal short. So, yeah. so now they're in the Europa League draw. Yeah. It's the first time, I think, and they, um, for the champ for the uh, Champions League that they, you know someone's from the first round has been dropped straight to the Europa League. Oh, really? Usually it's higher up. So. Oh. Yeah, we've given given a second chance, and all the other Welsh teams have uh, TNS in the history books. Out. Well, you know, absolutely, and again, <laughs> and again. But yeah, it should be it should be an entertaining game for them going up against Lincoln Red Imps. Um, you would think with the home leg first, rather than what happened in the Champions League uh, qualifying, where they had to travel away first, that maybe this is an advantage for TNS to really set the standard before they go away to Gibraltar to play in that key second leg uh, in August in a couple of weeks' time. So, what what are we expecting from TNS? What should what should fans really expect from TNS in this game? Do you think they're going to go out all attacking or do you think they're going to be a bit reserved to see what Lincoln can throw at them first? Well, Lincoln Red Imps is a semi-professional side and you know, I remember when England played Gibraltar for the first time I was saying, you yeah, know, we've got goalkeepers who are you know, um, like policemen. A bit like Iceland, yeah. how, the, how the coach is the dentist, so you know. Yeah, pr pretty much. But yeah. uh, Semi-professional standards, so are you expecting a semi-professional kind of game from them or do you think? I, I'm not, not to be too complacent, but yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I'd expect goals. You've got Greg Draper, who's the Welsh Premier League, you know, player, you know, Top scorer. We've got uh, Aaron Edwards, player of the season last year. Mm -hmm. Might have got that wrong. Don't quote me on it. Okay. Still, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's looking pretty promising. You know, we've got Kane Lewis, who's from Liverpool, looking pretty solid. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just gonna be a good game. It should be. It should be so. an entertaining game. And you know, how how far do you think TNS can get in this competition? Um, well, would you would you think that you know Europa League? itself the full competition is just a pipe dream or do you think it's a realistic expectation for tns it'll be the first time we've ever got to group stage if we do yeah um we've got if we do uh beat gibraltar which i think we will but mm. yeah um we just call them gibraltar now <laughs> not lincoln Link no. lincoln red imps <laughs> they have the same badge as lincoln fc oh okay yeah Fun fact, who copied yeah. who there you go lincoln get some money red from imps. that <laughs> get some money from that but what are you expecting yeah. really for TNS um, this season in europe well, if if, um, if we do win, uh, we get to play either the winners of Astana or uh, Micheland, who mm. are so a Kazakhstan team versus a pretty good Denmark team. Yeah. But um, we have the home leg to advantage, I think, to start off with. So, um, you know, Micheland, if, who, is, who are the likely winners of that game? Uh, they look solid, but I think the home advantage might be enough to send them over. Yeah, so, so it's, it's going to be really important for TNS to, to set the mark in this first game against Lincoln in order to not only get through this tie, but potentially get even further in the European competition than what they've ever done in the history of the football club. So what are you expecting from TNS in this game? What kind of scoreline do you think would be a reasonable start for TNS in this two-legged tie against Lincoln Red Alps? Uh, looking at the Shikinja team, who are much better quality than the... Um, Gibraltar side, um, you know, that we, we performed fantastically on Tuesday night when we came, came 4-0 up. Uh, I had the pleasure of commentating and working, uh, writing a match report for it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I uh, have goals. Lot, lots of goals. Lots of goals, you think? Yeah, that, that, that was because Shikinju are really strong at home. But mm -hmm. However, they came to Wales and they just, like, they don't, like we were playing, I don't know, real time. Really? No. But um, yeah, we, there was just like shot after shot after shot after shot. So, as long as a few of them get in, 
I think they were looking for a high score line, a 5-6. 5-6? Five, six, five, six. Absolutely. Oh, that's, that's a bit, bit, a bit uh, crazy for TNS, really, to get that kind of a strong uh, mm. start in the first leg. You know, maybe that pipe dream mm. is alive of getting to yeah. Europa League itself. Absolutely. And, uh, it, it could be happening. Absolutely. It could be happening. Well, yeah. those are our predictions for the game itself. What are your own predictions? Let us know in the comments section below this video. Don't forget to like it. Subscribe for more Let's Talk Sport content. And we should see you all very soon.